Marjo Gortner. I'm only four years old. I'm coming to your town to shoot the devil down. So come and go with me, and surely you will see me preach the old-time gospel and have a jubilee. Everyone praise the Lord. Howard Smith, who used to write scenes for the Village Voice, and was running a radio program on PLJ, which was like an alternate radio station program. He was doing interviews of people, and he found out about this guy <laughs> that used to hang out there, and that he had been a child preacher, and he had done these tent tour. He was on the tent tours of um, all over the country, and. Uh, that he was interested in becoming a rock star or something. And he asked him if he could go back and do that again. You know, he did an interview with him and for his radio broadcast, and the guy said, oh, yeah, I could go back and do it again. <laughs> well, how could you go back and do it again? You're, you're a fallen, you know, angel. I mean, you said, oh, you know, you can always go back. They love it when you go back. <laughs> and some people, you see, they've taken these prayer claws for their son or their daughter who is in drugs or dope addiction. And they've given that prayer call to him, and I've had many testimony of a young person after they got one of these prayer claws, they were delivered from drugs. How many believe that God can work this way? So they, uh, he became a partner on the film. <laughs> and uh, he went back, he got back into the circuit, and he about eight tent shows he did. Uh, all over the country, D Detroit, and Anaheim, Mass uh, California, and, and a whole bunch of other places. Do you believe it? Praise the Lord. I want you to get out the largest bill that you have right now. If you believe, if you don't have that much faith, then you shouldn't come down anyhow. Even young people, anyone who wants to come down, if you want to believe for someone in your life, I want you just to give us a $20 bill is the largest bill you got, then I want you to get that out. So it was interesting because what the film is, it develops his story of his life through these different tent shows and you, you get, you learn different things about him including that he really wants to be a rock star and he's, he's out there doing a, boo, he's ranting against the boogaloo and the frog and that's carnal man and he's jumping around like Mick Jagger with the microphone you know and he's, you know, he's a good looking guy you know, he looks like a rock star. Anyone else who wants to right now stand to your feet. He was a very controlling personality. I was told to keep him out of the editing room, that he, was, he would try and get in there and control what I was doing. And they, you know, he didn't trust anybody for good reason, given his childhood. And he would be very seductive, you know. Say, oh, I'd love to see editing, you know, you know, do some kind of a number on me. Well, he didn't, he didn't call. But, when he did show up to look at the film, he came with a lawyer. They came and they looked at the film and he just loved it. He was just laughing. I heard laughing coming out of there. And the lawyer too. And they, they just loved it. And they felt, well, this will do this ought to do the job for them. Make him successful. And it won an Oscar. <laughs>